All right, we're now looking at the Unit 3 study guide. And I know it's a little lengthy, but uh, anything you're doing, I'm also doing, so we can get through it together. Starting with problem number one, three-fifths divided by 21. Remember that 21 is a fraction, 21 over 1. So we end up with 3 fifths divided by 21 over 1. And our rule for dividing fractions is that we keep the first term, change the sign, flip the uh, second term. So that would become 3 fifths times 1 over 21. Some of you can simplify these fractions. Uh, for those of you that can't, we're going to continue to multiply straight across and we'll simplify our solutions. So 3 times 1 equals 3. 21 times 5 equals 105. 3 will go into both numbers. So I will get 1 over 35. Final answer. Number 2. 8 divided by 4 fifths. Well, this is the fraction 8 over 1 divided by 4 fifths. Again, you keep it, change it, flip it. 8 over 1, we keep our first fraction, times 5 over 4. Flip the second fraction. Equals 40 over 4. Well, 4 goes into both of those terms, which will give me 10 over 1, but I know 4 goes into 40 10 times, so my solution is just 10. <clears throat> Problem number 3, 1 fourth divided by 5 sixteenths. And yes, I realize it takes a little bit of extra time to write this extra step out, but I guarantee you, the extra time is worth getting the problem right and getting the extra points on your test. So, while well, some of you might think it's not worth spending the extra time on, I would highly encourage you to uh, make sure that you're getting correct solutions by doing so. Again, keep the first fraction, change the sign, flip the second fraction. 1 times 16 is 16, 4 times 5 is 20. Simplify it. 4 goes into 16 4 times. 4 goes into 25 times. So our solution is 4 fifths. <clears throat>